forecast with meteorologist Sarah McKenna. Weather from where you live. Good morning. Clear conditions so far. As we take a look, the sky cover not showing too much activity right now. Clouds kind of hit and miss around, but overall a clear start to our day. Unfortunately, we do have some fog this morning right now, limiting that visibility. Certainly something you're going to want to keep in mind as you go off to work today. Otherwise, it looks like we're going to be seeing some sunshine once this fog burns off. You see there's not a whole lot of activity for Indiana, even as we go into Illinois, Iowa. In fact, the activity is still across Iowa right now, and that's actually what we're going to watch as it moves this way. It will be increased in our cloud cover today, but that really looks to be about all that we're going to be seeing as far as any activity goes today. That cloud cover is especially expected to increase during the later afternoon or evening hours. Overall, still going to be sunny and starting off pretty pleasant if it weren't so humid. 65 degrees right now in Lafayette, 62 in Terre Haute, 66 Fort Wayne. Overall, very uniform temperatures across the entire state. We're not seeing too much of activity temperature-wise, at least for right now. Futurecast does show that we're going to be seeing clouds increase, as I mentioned, later this afternoon or during the early evening hours. We're going to go to partly cloudy conditions by then. The clouds will continue to increase during the overnight. I'm expecting it to be another humid night as well, so that means by tomorrow morning, expect to see some more fog. Then as we go into tomorrow afternoon, it looks like that's when we can expect to see some more rain showers pop up. The rain chance here, I think, is going to be a little bit more hit and miss than what Futurecast brings it in. The rain chance is at about a 20, or rather a 30 to 40 percent chance of rain, though. And again, there is that possibility of some severe weather with this. We already have the hot temperatures. We already have lots of moisture. All we need is just that little bit of a trigger and obviously we'll get that with those rain showers. It's just kind of how the summertime rain brings in across our area. It'll clear out and kind of give us a break during the overnight, but as we go into early Wednesday, it looks like more rain filters back in. For today, though, we don't have to worry about rain, just the fog and a muggy start. Otherwise, the clouds will increase later on this afternoon, 90 for your high. Then for tonight, expect calm conditions. Overnight fog is expected as well, 67 for your low. For Tuesday, it looks like partly cloudy to mostly uh, mostly cloudy. And again, it'll kind of come in waves as well, as well as when it brings in those rain chances. 91 for your high on Tuesday, so still pretty warm. In fact, it's going to be pretty muggy. Those rain chances are only going to add to our humidity. And you'll notice overnight lows go up into the mid-70s. Again, a good indicator that that humidity go is going up. That overnight low is a great indicator of kind of the trends with the humidity. So you'll see they go up to the 70s and then drop back down to the low 60s as we head into the weekend. That's because the cold front builds in, clears out some of this humidity, and makes it so it's comfortable once again just in time for the weekend. We do have a few days of rain to get through first, but I think I like the timing on this one. It's a kind of a roller coaster for us. Deal with Monday and then treacherous.